Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to do an effect similar to this, but instead of it being GLES3, it'll be GLES2. Now, um, previously when people have asked me how do you achieve this in free in two, sorry, I always say, well, you can't do it because it doesn't support it. I was wrong. However, it won't look as good as this. Now, this tutorial was based on something <coughs> Brackies did, but he did the visual shaders to show you how to do this effect, whereas I would written a shader. And I'll show you what, what this does now. So you can change the color of the glow that you wish to have, the intensity and so on. Um, and how this works is that you've got a shader here and what this shader does is it gets this emission shader and you'll notice that it's the same animation as this but the only thing that's white is that the actual fireball and I'm saying hey get the fireball where is it white? glow it, if it's black then hide it so you might be wondering well, why do you want to do this in 2 if it works in 3 well you, um, Android and I think iOS only supports GLS uh, 2 from Godot right now, so you can't achieve this on an Android platform, and I don't think you can on the web either. So it's only like great, good for desktops or uh, newer cards, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this project, which will be in the description in the GitHub, and we're going to convert it from three to two. So we're going to change this to two, and you'll notice straight away that. This is what normally happens when people follow the previous tutorial and they're like, oh, it doesn't work. And I just say, yeah, it doesn't support it. I was wrong. So what we need to do is go back to our world environment. And this is what handles the glow. We are going to change this <coughs> threshold. Actually needs to be less than one, which is uh, weird. So you'll notice anything more or less. It doesn't, nothing really happens. But if you go down here, you'll, you'll notice that something's happening. For this project, 0 0.6 seems to be the, the uh, sweet spot. You want blend mode and additive. You want increase your intensity and your strength. And then it's a little bit of fiddling about to find the right combination. So the trade off here is that yes, it works, but you'll probably notice there's a little bit of glow around the character, and that seems to be a little bit unavoidable. Like it's sort of like how much intensity you want this versus the trade off. Now I still think that looks uh, good. You could still mess around with the colouring which is like quite important whereas this won't change so um, a few things to mention uh, GLS, GLES3 uses can use bicubic upscaling now with 2 that doesn't nothing changes and you'll probably notice that when we let's say if we make it strong, you'll see this is really squared. Now, if we were in GLS3 and turn this on, this would smooth and look a lot better. So let's pull this back down. I think that's about my sweet spot. Now you'll probably notice, depending on your project, um, certain sprites might glow more than you want. So it really is about fiddling with these uh, variables. Um, and you probably would have to have like a uniform system of your colours. So, oh yeah, and another thing worth mentioning, Bleem seems to work, another thing that I thought wouldn't. So, why is this working now and not previously? Well, previously in GLS3, I would have a colour scale, and if we go to our colours, go to modulate, you'll notice if you go to raw, it's at 1. Now, in 3, you can go above that, whereas in 2, um, the HDR doesn't. So that was what was causing an issue. Is like I was I was setting things above one, whereas GS two doesn't care about that. So hopefully I've explained that as best as I can do. I've gave some use case scenarios. If you have any more questions on this, please let me know. Uh, everything will be in the comments as per usual. I uh, just want to say uh, thanks to Magic Roxy for giving me this idea, and sorry for saying it didn't work when it does work. So I hope that you, this helps you out, mate. Take care.